I was wrong about Jay Uso, Mr. Yeet himself, and this video is going to address that because this channel is not an echo chamber. I do not want to only hear my opinion repeated back to me. I want this to be an open discussion for everybody. I want you to be able to have a different opinion than me and still be respected for that different opinion, as long, of course, as we're respectful about it. And maybe, just maybe, like, I might change your views, you might change my views, and I've kind of come around on one aspect of Jay Uso's character that I'm kind of being like, yeah, you guys were right. And I was wrong. But I'm still a huge Jay Uso supporter, and nothing has changed in that I want this guy to be elevated into the main event, and I don't understand why we're doing almost nothing with him when it comes to PLEs, main events, and championships. But I've already done that video with the Jay Uso problem. This this video addresses one of those things that I thought wasn't a big deal, but it actually kind of is a big deal, and it might actually be what's holding him back. And while it's a shame that Jay Uso has never won a belt, doesn't mean you don't have to be like that. You can win this belt. All you got to do is comment below. Once I hit 10,000 subscribers, and I'm at 6,000, so I'm more than halfway there, I'm going to give it away. And then when I give this belt away, I'm going to set another goal and give another belt away, because I'm always going to give away belts on this channel in my never-ending quest to become a full-time YouTuber. I've got so many videos up in this now that I, I I just gotta get them out. I gotta get them out, and to do that, I gotta go full time because my 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 day job, being a dad, don't have time to do it, and it's just like it's the dream, right? This is my dream. I'm following it. I'm pursuing it. I'm gonna do what it takes, and I hope you guys are along for the ride. Comment below. Win the belt, win the belt, and uh, yeah, let's get on with how I was wrong. Okay, so what is this big thing? It's actually yeet. What? Yeah, yeet. So it's a problem and it's not a problem and it has to be a balancing act because on Monday Night Raw, Jay Uso and Braun Breaker met in the ring and they had a face down, a face off. Uh, <laughs> they had microphones in their hands and they were going back and forth. How about that? And there was a point in which Braun Breaker had struck a nerve that Jay Uso he dropped the yeet, and he got real. <laughs> and when he got real, it was actually very refreshing. I had kind of almost forgot how good he was on the mic. For a while now, since leaving the bloodline, he found something that worked, yeet. It got him super over. It got him to where he is now, where the entire arena shakes with everybody saying, Yee, 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 has elevated him so far up the card that he stopped doing these really passionate promos. And recently, all he's been doing is trying to figure out how to get Yeet into every single sentence. Four lines of dialogue, there's going to be Yeet said five times. And I was kind of like, you know what? Whatever. It's got him over. It's so great. Whatever it takes to get over, keep saying Yeet. If you have four lines of dialogue, five times saying Yeet is not enough. That's what I was like. But I've changed my tune now after seeing that promo on Raw. It was so good. And best of all, he was still able to use Yeet. I'm not saying don't use Yeet. Austin 316. That got Steve Austin over, right? Austin 316. But he wasn't saying Austin 316, Austin 316, Austin 316 in every single promo. Now, he did say it a lot, but it wasn't so rammed down your throat that he only became Austin 316. No, he had way more to say. He even had other catchphrases, but he could talk also, and Yeet has become Jay Uso's crutch almost because he is actually really good on the microphone. And now I feel that if he wasn't such a one note interview and that he could draw on his actual interview skills and the fact that he's really quick witted and he can just totally burn somebody like he did with Braun Breaker saying, you're going to hold that Intercontinental Championship shorter than your NFL career. That was a sick 
put down and it really made Braun just like get super mad and it did a lot to elevate their feud way more so than just saying I'm gonna beat you yeet you know what I'm saying and again keep doing yeet Austin 316. That is what he's known for to this day. And those stupid what chants, but yeah. Austin was more than that. Jay Uso needs to be more than Yeet. When he comes out to the crowd, be Yeet all day long. You're making tons of money and that got you over. Don't throw it away. You're making too much money off the shirts. I bought one of those shirts at full price. I've only bought two full price shirts in 30 years and yours is one of them. So I'm definitely a supporter of Yeet. But now it's time to tweak and evolve. If you stay Yeet, forever you will eventually get old and stale but if you add other things to your repertoire of your verbal assaults then maybe triple h will have no excuses to not push you to not get you higher up the card and you might be thinking well what about la knight la knight's kind of a one one word catchphrase yeah yes and no okay so la knight's kind of in the same boat as jay uso there's yeah and there's yeet right but L.A. Knight, come on, let's be real. Even if you don't like L.A. Knight, he has more than yeah, all right? Now, yeah is very much associated with L.A. Knight, and I'll tell you what, it's a struggle for me to not say yeah every time I say L.A. Knight. I figured you guys would get really sick of me, though, if I were like, L.A. Knight, yeah, L.A. Knight, yeah, yeah L.A. Knight, yeah. So I have, to, I have to force myself not to say yeah every time I say his name, but when L.A. Knight goes to the ring, he has much more to say than just, yeah. He'll say it a lot, but he's found that, like, I don't know, that balance, maybe, of being able to say it, have that little catchphrase, but that also incorporates so much more into his promo, where Jey Uso has been all yeet, trying to get yeet in everything. You know what I yeet? Yeet in the bank? Yeah, we just don't need that all the time now, and I admit that I was wrong. I was 100% wrong. Okay, maybe not 100% wrong. Maybe I was like 80% uh, wrong. Because again, I do still feel that Yeet should be part of his character. It should be a large part of his character. It got him so over. But once he gets to the ring, maybe stop with the Yeet. Bookend. Bookend your promos with Yeet. In the beginning, it's Yeet. At the end, it's Yeet. But everything in the middle needs to be original stuff because that's what we're going to really long-term latch onto because, Jay Uso, you are a great and awesome, amazing character. You came out of the bloodline so hot and it's so disappointing that you are not champion by now. It's so disappointing that you have not lived into your main event moniker. But I do believe that if you pull back on Yeet, that it's actually going to propel you more. Less is more sometimes. It's not like uh, the people's elbow, right? The people's elbow is a great, great move. It's hilarious. But could you imagine if The Rock did the people's elbow 10 times in the match? It'd be like, okay, dude, little overkill. I was wrong and the critics were right. He relied on Yeet too much, but that's a quick and easy fix. I hope Jey Uso saw that he can actually be the Jey Uso of the bloodline and the Jey Uso of the Yeet movement at the same time last Monday night when he faced off against Braun Breaker. And I really do think that this is the path moving forward for Mr. Jey Uso. And yeah, that's what I have to say about that. And guys, girls, I hope you have a Yeet a full day. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah. Yeet.